Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I would like to welcome you to Craft Spot. This is my weekly <laughs> crafting adventure where I share uh, a class with you one week and then the next week I show you some additional projects uh, using the same product as the class products. And so we are in week two of um, the online class that featured the masterfully masterfully made masterfully created oh my goodness <laughs> it's something masterful masterfully made designer series paper there's a little peek as it's flying by um but i will show you those cards again in just a moment so uh, last week we did the class and i made three cards if you place a minimum $45 order, you will be sent a class kit absolutely free to make six cards. You get to make two of each of the three designs from that class. And then this week, uh, I'm going to show you three additional cards made with the, the same paper. So you'll have some more ideas of things that you can do with that paper. Uh, if you want to order that paper with your, for, as part of your $45 order, that's fine, but you don't have to. Uh, you can order anything at all, anything you like. So that's entirely up to you. Alrighty, uh, so if you are here joining me today, do say hello, let me know that you are here. And I am just going to bring this up on uh, my other device here so that I can see that you're here and your comments. Is it hot where you are? It is very, very warm here. But I'm at the cottage. And so, you know, when someone says, go jump in the lake, I do. <laughs> it's wonderful. The lake is getting uh, very, very warm, which is, uh, well, actually, it's getting warm. I wouldn't say very, very. Our lake never gets, or very rarely gets super warm because it is spring fed. So there is always uh, cool water being fed into it. But it is quite lovely. It's, uh, if you were doing serious swimming, I don't, it wouldn't be refreshing, but it is so nice to go in and I usually take a needle and I just uh, swim back and forth in front of my uh, cottage and kick around and splash and splash when the deer flies are chasing me. But uh, anyway, it is wonderful. It feels so lovely in there. I might be doing that after this, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, let's uh, swap this spotlight and actually just before I do that many many things I have just sent an email very important email about a very important day uh, so if you are on my mailing list take a look for that email after this tomorrow Thursday July the 6th very important day for all of us paper crafters Stampin Up has all sorts of wonderful new things coming and specials and sales and products and Lots of stuff. So uh, online exclusives. There are some new online exclusive products that are being released tomorrow. Uh, some of them we have earned, uh, you know, it, during a pre-order period as a demonstrator, and some of them we saw during a, a demonstrator-only event a week and a half ago or so. But uh, they are all going live tomorrow, and they will be available to everyone, demonstrators and customers. So everything that was on pre-order plus all the additional products. So um, some great stuff, some everyday items and some Christmas items, some beautiful Christmas paper. And there is um, a little red truck bundle. It doesn't have to be a red truck, but when I say the little red truck, uh, for most of it, it conjures up an image of that old fashioned truck. And it's usually red, um, <laughs> not always, but uh, anyway. There is a bundle coming out that has a stamp set and a truck builder punch. So it's a punch bundle. Um, I don't know the price. The popular guess is about $56.50 in Canada. And um, the stamp set has, you know, images for the truck. It's got things to put in the back of the truck. It's got some fun sentiments. It's just a really great set. And then the punch, oh my goodness, it's so cute. We saw some really super cute projects made with it at our uh, demonstrator event recently. So uh, definitely you want to check that out. And everybody 
that has had a glimpse of this is talking about. Everybody wants it. Everybody's like, um, so I really think it's going to sell out. Okay. Um, I suspect it is going to sell very, very quickly in North America. It's interesting. I was talking to uh, the demonstrators from our uh, global retreat. So there's a demonstrator in the UK and a demonstrator in Australia. And um, the UK, they don't have trucks. They have, uh, I think, kind of like our cube vans sort of thing. But they don't do the little pickup truck. And so it's not, you know, there'll be people over there that are interested in it. But it's not the, oh, my gosh, I must have this. <laughs> um, at least not from anything that she had heard. And uh, in Australia, they do have pickup trucks. But she said it's not, you know, it's not a big thing. Not not the way everybody is hearing about it in North America. In North America, everybody's excited about it. So um, I suspect the North American supplies will be depleted very quickly. And while they may restock it, we don't know that they will. All the online exclusive products are available while supplies last. And sometimes they do restock them, uh, but sometimes they don't. And we don't know how long that's going to take. So... <laughs> I would suggest that if you are at all interested in this, get your order in tomorrow with the rest of us. It'd be a busy day for Stampin' Up! ordering. But um, anyway, if you do order that truck bundle, uh, you will be automatically included in my August card class because I am going to use that bundle and you will need the Stampin' Punch for that class. So be sure to order it and then I will send you the card kit in August for that class. And I'll send you all those details once uh, once you have placed your order. But that class will be free for you if you place the order for that bundle. Uh, if you are placing that order and the price is $56.50, add a little something extra to your order because bonus days start tomorrow. So for every $60 you spend, uh, you will be given a coupon code for a $6 discount. So you can earn these codes during the month of July for any order that is $60 and for every $60. So 60, 120, 180, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, you'll get a code for each $60. And then in August, you can redeem them. And there's no limit to how many coupon codes you can redeem on a single order in August. So, you know, in theory, <laughs> you get your August order for free. <laughs> so... Uh, that is going on. And then a couple other things, but they're in my email and I will let you check those out because it's time to do some crafting. Let me switch this down now. There we go. Okay, so you may recall that last week we made these three cards and these uh, all use the masterfully made designer series paper. And this is the card kit that I will send to you absolutely free. Uh, the kit includes all the uh, paper products and the envelopes that you need to make six cards, two of each, okay? And that is with any $45 online order using my current host code. If your order is over $60, I will also send you a package of gems and you can use those gems to embellish your cards, if you like or for anything else that you want. <laughs> but I'll include a package of gems as an extra thank you for your order. Okay, so what else uh, What else can you do with this interesting and beautiful paper? So this I am using, so last week we used three, whoops, three pieces of the designer series paper. Today I am using the three other pieces. So this is one of them. Um, you want to see some of the, the full size pieces? Maybe I'll just start by showing you that we are using. Uh, let's see if I find all of them here. Is that the one? It's last week's. Here we go. These. Okay, so today we are going to be using uh, this piece with all these lovely flowers. And we are going to be using some of this piece to make a scene. And then we're going to be using some of this piece. Uh, this is the lemon lime twist torn paper. Uh, it's 
got lots of flowers on the back, but we're using the, the lemon lime twist side. So those are the pieces that we are going to use today. So I have uh, started with a standard card base in Pretty Peacock. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Uh, squish, and then I, I was gonna make this a little bit smaller. So I cut a piece of Berry Burst, this is Berry Burst cardstock, and I cut a piece. And then um, got a lot of shadow going on today. Um, and then I cut my designer series paper and I cut it an eighth of an inch larger so I could layer it. But of course that's backwards. It should have been an eighth of an inch smaller. So then I went back and cut a slightly larger piece of the berry burst. And uh, so it's a little bit a little bit bigger than I had originally intend intended, but it doesn't much matter. It's all good. I really like this back. Too, but the front is, I love the, the little flowers on the front. So that's that's my my jam for today anyway. <laughs> okay, so you'll notice I used liquid blue and that is because I do have a very narrow border. So I want to be able to just give my paper a little wiggle to get her all evenly spaced from my border once I have it down, or at least close. If you use the uh, tape runner, there's, <laughs> there's no sliding it around. Once it's in place, it is in place. <laughs> okay, and then, so I'm going to put this onto my card base, and then I have I have torn a piece of torn paper, <laughs> so not sure what you can determine on camera. This white is built right into the paper, but this white along the top and the little bit of white along the bottom is because I have actually torn the paper. <laughs> so it's a tearing going on. So I'm going, my thought was to put that across there, and then I am going to put my sentiment. Um, over top of this, and I forgot to get out my very first ink. So I'll just grab that. It's a little bit messy. I re-inked it, and uh, I kind of messed up. <laughs> and so I have sort of I've wiped off the stuff that uh, you know was running all over the place, but I haven't uh, I haven't completely cleaned it properly, which I should do, but you know, it's at the point now where it's not getting on things. So it's easy to forget to do it until you take it out again. It's like, oh, it's still a little messy, but it works. Okay. And then I have um, the double oval punch and I'm using just this larger one, I hope. I hope that this uh, this sentiment will fit in there. This sentiment, if you are wondering, is from, oh dear, here we go, Charming Sentiments. There we go. And I use this to the first two cards that we make. So this is Faith over here, and babies are a blessing for one of the cards. Anyway, but I wanted to punch it with this oval and it looked like it would fit and it will just we'll just make it fit. There we go. I'll just and so that way it will uh, sit up over top and down below the Torn paper, and then I also have um, the bow punch, and this coordinates with the layered leaf stamp set, but it's just a punch. Okay, so I was going to punch some berry burst flowers. I'm not sure how many I'll use, but we'll punch two of those, and um, this is pretty peacock, like my card base. 
and I will punch some leaves. And a little bit of flour because it just, <laughs> it's a double punch and I my cardstock is a little bit wider. So there we go. And then I was thinking I would just uh, add these in here. Just for a little extra pop. I think that will work. So what I want to do is I'm going to put a tape runner onto my sentiment. All over that top area. And then I'm going to attach these to the back of it. And when you're doing this, you just need to remember that you want to put the things you want on the top you have to add them first. I often grab the, you know, the things that I want in the background and stick them down. It's like, oh, no, 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 wrong order of operation. It needs to be the other way around. And you may, depending where everything lines up, you may need to just add a little more tape runner to get some fresh stickiness <laughs> for your last piece. There we go. I think that will work. And ultimately, I think I'll put that on the dimensionals. So, okay, so I'm going to put this um, piece down. Oops, oh my goodness, I'm sort of missing the mark with my tape runner. A little low here, a little off the top there. <laughs> it's all good. And then I'm just going to this onto my card base. There. And then this piece, I think because it's going over, it's not super thick, but it is going over a couple of layers of paper. I'm going to use the liquid glue just, oh, isn't that pretty? Uh, we'll, we will have the age or afternoon color in an upcoming card, so stay tuned. Anyway, I'm just using liquid glue for this part so that uh, it just kind of oozes down and <laughs> sticks in all the little spots because it is just a little bit raised in the center, but I want it to stick at the edges. So this should make sure there's good adhesive everywhere. And hopefully, hopefully I didn't get that too low. Could you put this up? That'll work. Okay. Uh, dimensionals. We need dimensionals. Oh my goodness, where are they? They're sort of hiding. Here's some little ones. Do I have? I'm sure I have regular size somewhere, but guess what? We're using these little guys. So I'm going to put a couple of them over uh, some of my pieces just to. Uh, further secure them. Bring my brush in a little bit closer. I thought I had made them in, but so all of those uh, specials start tomorrow. And the uh, so if you want to take advantage of any of them, kind of get on it and would suggest avoid disappointment. There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to embellish these all at the end because I didn't really plan what embellishments I was going to use. So we'll sort that all out and when we get there. So Alrighty, here is the next card, and it uses uh, the piece with the, the mountain scene and the Asia afternoon color. And again, I have done a narrow border, and I think this is probably the same size. This is uh, 
Well, maybe it's let's see, is it? Nope, it's a little bit bigger. So this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So a little bit larger. And then we have an is your afternoon card base. Never know whether you're supposed to say Azure or Azure in North America. <laughs> in in the UK, I think they say Azure. I kind of think in North America it's pronounced Azure. But I'll have to go to uh, one of those things that says your word for you and see how they pronounce it. Then you just need to know what country it's from. Usually it's from the US though, which would be how we would pronounce it as well in Canada. Generally, uh, although we say mauve and they say mauve, so not always, I guess. All right, so there is that. And then I have used uh grassy grove this stamp set and all all i used from that was the uh, the two trees so i wanted to stamp those and die cut them but then i do have some of the grove die cuts for my card i cut out a mama and a baby deer to put on here That. Whoop. <laughs> no. The baby look like a little bit more heavy. Kind of like them grounded on this darker strip as opposed to the green. So maybe we will do it like that. And then I wasn't sure what to do with the trees. So I stamped them on pretty peacock, which is this dark matte leaf flower here. But I thought it was a little bit too dark. It doesn't doesn't really show up a whole lot. So then I stamped it on white with uh, pretty peacock ink, and then I was thinking it was looking very white. <laughs> one's too dark, one's too light. So then I used a blending brush. Did I get that on there? That almost looks like I got some more. And I just. Uh, very lightly added a tint to this with my blending brush. Can you see how that's not, it's not white. Uh, I did use pretty peacock ink, but um, it's very, very light. So I was thinking that I would go with that one. And so I will just show you if I have the, oh, good grief. Where's all my scrap paper? Where's your scrap paper when you need it? Here's some. Uh, Here's a piece that's a little bit messy, but we bring this in just so I can show you. Here's my, uh, at the cottage, I'm using mini blending brushes. You can get mini blending brushes or uh, the larger ones. They both do the same job. Just uh, if you're going to do a lot of large blending, the other ones can be a little bit faster, but uh, they both work. They both do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to pick up just a tiny bit of ink here and very lightly I'm going to just add some color. Okay, so a little bit more than what's going on there. So a little more ink. I'm just, just tinting my paper so it's not the stark white, but it doesn't certainly nowhere near as dark as my trees. But I just thought it looked a little bit a little bit better without the the stark white and stark green uh, or peacock <laughs> color. So. so you don't have to do it that way, but just an idea. So there we go. And once you're finished with this, you can wash 
your blending brushes. Um, I recommend you, you know, scribble off any extra ink. Um, sorry, I'm kind of jiggling everybody, aren't I? Um, scribble off any ink, and then you could just leave it if you are going to generally use this with your green inks, or you can wash them. Um, just a little dish soap and water will clean them and it will go white again. Uh, you just need to make sure that you give it uh, lots of time to dry because you don't want to use uh, the blending brush in your ink when there's still water in the bristles. It will dilute your ink and it'll leave splotches in your blending and stuff. So it doesn't work too well. Okay, so I think I am going to. Uh, I might, do I want to put these down flat or do I want to pop them up? I kind of think I'm going to pop everything up here. We're just going to put lots of dimension on this card. And now it's a good, ooh, I don't think I can get. <laughs> okay, so you know it's a really tiny area when you have to cut even your mini dimensionals in half. <laughs> it can be done. Just makes it very tiny. But this one, I think it was right up near the top of my little baby. Still. Okay, we'll put this one here. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty tiny. Right in there without sticking over the edge. And I won't be able to get down into the bottom of these tree stems, but that's okay. I'll just put a couple near the bottom and hold it in place. Whoops. Oh, that's just a just the lid part. There we go. This one's I don't know why, but I struggle to get the backs off of these mini ones more so than the others. It doesn't really make any kind of sense. It's just how it is. Put mama. Oh goodness. <laughs> when they're this small, they're hard to uh, hard to maneuver. Hopefully that's not gonna show. Baby. Here. Yeah, that's good. There we go. And then I use the, I have the, maybe hard to see, but it says babies are a blessing. And I have one of the um, stylish shapes, the square. And the, oh dear. <laughs> My impure afternoon is, is out and about. <laughs> was it? It's. I put it somewhere safe. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> it's totally messed up. Okay. That's just a big mess. I'm just going to wipe this a little bit. It's just a little. Oh dear, there's my toe. Okay. So I just need to bring this a little bit closer so I can see it and hopefully get it straight. There we go. Babies are a blessing. I need baby cards. <laughs> and so I was uh, pulled out this grassy grove stuff today and I thought, oh, that could be a baby card. 
mama and baby. So a little bit different style for a baby card, but I thought it was kind of neat. Baby is uh, a little bit pumpy here. Looks a little cute. Maybe we can get the screen. I think that's better. Okay. Oh dear, we're almost out of tape runner. <laughs> I have another one of those somewhere too, but we might be finishing uh, <laughs> these cards with liquid glue, which also works. Didn't realize it was so close to the end there. You never know how many of these little guys you need. They're super sticky. You don't need uh, lots to hold things on, but they don't have quite as much surface area as the, the bigger ones. We're propping things up. But we'll put that right near the top so you can still see the, the nails. So almost straight. <laughs> And there we go. They need eyes for sure. So I'm just going to grab um, these festive pearls. I always find are awesome. This um, very, very pale color usually makes it a good, a good eye for these guys. Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> Because they're usually nice and small, although they they look quite large on here. <laughs> Hopefully not too large. Is that a little bit high? His eyes up in his ears. There. So we have those on, and uh, we may do some additional embellishments after we finish the third card. So there's the second card. Another fun little scene with a mama and baby. And then the third card. So I've been looking at my card stock because I've been using all these new colors. Berry Burst, uh, Pretty Peacock, Azure Afternoon, Lemon Lime Twist, all these fun, fun new colors that we have back in our color palette. And I thought, Okay, so there's still a few more that I haven't used a lot of, um, and this is one of them. This is Blueberry Bushel. So this uh, is now also a core color. It used to be an in color, and then uh, it went away, and now it's back. So I haven't haven't used it a whole lot yet, but it's a very pretty blue. And then I have die cut this piece of the Lemon Lime Twist Designer Series paper using the deco labels. So that's what that is. And then I pulled out this, Nested Friends. And uh, there is a Nest stamp, but I have just used the Nest die cut. And then I use the bird stamp and die cut them to create my pieces. So there is some assembly required here. And I did not put... Uh, adhesive sheets on this. I forgot that it was so very tiny. So it's um, it's going to be slightly tricky to glue down, but I'm sure we can do it. I'm just going to grab my silicone mask here, just so I don't get glue everywhere that I don't want it. Just like look at the back. Look at all the colors in that. It's kind of Lovely. That's the back of this paper, which has all those uh, flowers on. So that's why there's all those colors. But anyway, I am just going to drag my glue over this and it will hit on the paper and the rest will just go onto my silicone mat that I will move out of the way <laughs> so we don't get glue where we don't want it. And it should be enough to hold it down. It doesn't have to be secured 
everywhere. And now this doesn't doesn't line up with anything. So the uh, oops, there's a little piece of paper showing through there, and it's pink, so I really don't want that. There we go. So the there's blue twigs that stick out, and then there are the light stuff that sticks out. Okay, and then I also die cut um, some of these. Oh, can you see? Let <laughs> me try and put this up for you. Maybe it's too much of a sticky. Um, little tiny leaf die cuts from the Nested Friends set. And this is old olive. I wanted to use something just a little bit darker than the lemon lime twist that I have here. And just add these as little bits. I'm only putting glue on the bottom stem part. I'm not putting glue on the whole leaf so that if it kind of pops up a little bit, that's that's a good thing. That's kind of what I'm after. And they won't stick up a whole lot, but they will work. Oops. I have a single loop saw in my book. I don't see that at this moment. It's okay. This will be enough. Leaves. Oh, there it is. Uh, shall I stick this one in? I think I'll just leave it off. That's good. And then I think I'm maybe going to put the bird um, on with the dimensional. So I'm just going to set this to the side for a moment. Actually, I'll put this here. My bird kind of like so. And then for my sentiment, I have this is from the the same stamp set says best friends make the good times better and the hard times easier and that's a, a nice sentiment but I just wanted the best friends make the good times better um, so what I'm going to do is bring in my washi tape you can use washi tape masking tape painters tape a post-it note um, I just like I like the washi tape because I find it easy to manipulate around the letters so I am just going to put this over the bottom line and I use my fingernail to get it down into the groove so that hopefully the letters in that first line get inked, but nothing else does. Okay, so I've just, I've covered over the bottom line and then I am going to bring in my blueberry bushel ink. And ink this up. The trickiest part about this is you have to remember to take the washi tape off before you stamp. <laughs> Otherwise, guess what? <laughs> you get an inky streak on your, your stamping. So you want to take the washi tape off those in the garbage bin, so it will spin it elsewhere. And then you need to remember when you're trying to center it that um, the bottom line isn't isn't part of what you are stamping. So hold um, you just have to be careful with your centering. So that's perhaps a little bit low. But there we go. Best friends make the good times better. And I might might actually trim the top off of that a little bit just uh, just to even it out a bit but okay then we'll, we'll trim that up in a moment so let's put our nest on to the designer series paper here
haven't used this set a whole lot. Um, and if you are looking for it to order it, it is an online only stamp. Now it was in the catalog and now it is uh, just, if you want to see it, it's online. So if you go and look in the catalog, you won't find it, but it is still current and it is still available. It's just not in the printed catalog. And they started to do that a little bit more often just so they can offer a wider variety of items without making the catalog super thick because uh, if you have too much in the catalog, it's overwhelming and it's hard to find things and it's more expensive to mail. So uh, as demonstrators, we ask them to sort of be mindful of the size because we do mail them out to our customers. So that's why they started to put some things just online. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to trim this a little bit closer and I think I will trim a little bit of this end. And then I could, I could scissor cut that, but I think I'm going to grab my little trimmer here. And take a little bit of this but not that much. <laughs> this is just a little risky, but we'll see what we get. <laughs> oh, so that worked. <laughs> Every now and again, you get it right. And, oh, there's my cat. Hello, Felix. <laughs> the cats have been sleeping all day when it's so warm. They don't, uh, they run around in the morning and then as it starts to get warm, they kind of lose their energy. I kind of think I'm, yes, I'm out, out of juice on that one. Do I have another one? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see. Because I didn't fill it yet. Look, two empty cases. That's not helpful. <laughs> So we'll just switch over to a little bit of liquid glue to finish that in place. Right on there. I really like this lemon lime twist with the blueberry bushel. So it's a whole new combo and I haven't used it yet, but today was the day. <laughs> Pop a few dimensionals onto the sentiment here. That will be that. And then I just have to search the gem bin for all the appropriate gems. There we go. Oh, another. I could put this. I always like when it dangles over the edge. Maybe I'll put it right on the edge like that. There we go. Okay, so here are our cards. And this one maybe doesn't need any more embellishments or maybe just one more. But what, uh, what are we gonna do here? So let's uh, move these over a little bit and see what we have in the box here. Ooh, iridescent pearls, they would be nice on here because they sort of, they show, or, ooh, we have pink. Like these flowers, ooh, like the flowers, yes. Okay, and then these are blue, colors. Ooh, they do kind of go, with okay, look, here we go. Uh, we are going to use the pastel adhesive backed sequins. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to do one of these on here. Sure. Now the sequence, just, you know, the sequence are a little trickier to, to rearrange if uh, <laughs> you're not happy. You've seen me. I pick up my gems and rearrange them 18 times on some cards. The sequence 
don't come off quite as easily. So just kind of bear that in mind <laughs> as you create. This capture stuck to that one. There we go. I don't. Hmm. You want just they look purple compared to these, don't they? I'm not sure they look like depending on the angle, <laughs> they reflect differently. I'm not sure. I do gold. Not certain I want him. I think I'm gonna leave him just the way he is, with nothing further, just the little little gems in the eyes there. So there you go. Three more cards using the masterfully made design series paper. Oh my god, where did they go? The angle on my holder is not good, but I didn't want to play with it too much because it's 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 sitting it's sitting quite nicely and it's not uh, it's not sagging or anything, so I didn't want to touch it too much. But anyway, there we go. Uh, oops, I will bring back these cards from last week. That is the class uh, that you could get the kit for to make six of those. And there are some other ideas using the uh, designer series paper. So I hope you like those cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, really interesting paper in action. If you weren't with me last week, I did explain that um, when they made this designer series paper, the artist actually took paper strips that were torn. So they tore up paper, they created pictures and uh, patterns and everything and then they photographed it and then they turned it into designer series paper so it's uh i think it's a very cool story and really interesting paper and some pretty patterns so i hope you like it thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you uh, will join me again really soon i always love to craft and share what i love thanks so much have an awesome rest of the day take care everyone bye for now <laughs>